I'm Janelle Aldred and I'm a relatively new golfer. I've been playing for about 15 months and I'm already on my second driver and second set of irons. Now, I've been wondering lately, is it my kit that's holding me back? Now, of course, a new golfer would say it's their kit that's holding them back. But a chat with master PXG fitter, Jack Venn, the other day actually convinced me. What he said was, you wouldn't expect someone to run a marathon in a pair of trainers that are a size too small. So PXG have kindly agreed to custom fit me here at the Drift Golf Club in Leatherhead to see if it is my kit that's holding me back and if I could make some gains if I changed my clubs to custom fits. PXG doesn't make golf clubs for men or for ladies. We make golf clubs um, that I can fit into anybody because we can offer different lengths, different weights, different flexes. So um, I'm going to build you up something that's very, very similar or as similar as I can get to your iron to not throw you off too much to okay. start with from like a, a length and weight <laughs> perspective. One thing I will say about these, and um, you probably know it already, these are incredibly light. Yeah. So this is, the, this is the lightest golf club I've ever put on this machine. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll build something up. I'm going to build something up as close to that as I can get and we'll kind of go from there. Okay, give me one more, and I'm gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep changing it up until we find what's right. Better? Yes, awesome. Better. Still feel a bit too light? It still does feel a little bit light, because I feel like when I'm hitting the ball, it's like I can really, it's like I can really feel it. So feedback for me is so essential. Um, so if at any point something feels too light, too heavy, um, just let me know because I don't want to work with something for yeah. you if you if it doesn't feel right. Yeah, feedback is massively important for me. Um, and it just means we don't have to persevere with something that doesn't feel right <laughs> that doesn't for you. That doesn't feel good. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can feel this feels a bit heavier. Feel a bit better? Yeah. Okay, good. So just since that tiny bump up in weight, we're now starting to see better results, aren't we? And you called it before you even swung the golf club, it feels better. Uh, the reason I'm changing the lie angle is I can see that the golf ball is wanting to start right and okay. stay right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the overall lie angle of the golf club to try and get it starting a bit more on target. So okay. um, the best way to describe it is if, I, if, if we've got a golf, and everybody's different, if we've got a golf club that's that's too upright for you, mm -hmm. the face is pointing left. Yeah. If we've got a golf club that's too flat, the face is pointing right. So we kind of want to get that ball starting at target. So I'm I'm going to change this now to try and do that because you, you've hit some great shots, but they're just starting a little bit right. So I'm going to move it a fraction more upright. No, brilliant. To try and bring that ball back round to the left. Because before my natural shot, a bit more of a draw. Okay. But since I've had these irons, my miss has been right. Yeah. And before, my miss was never right. It was always left. It would be okay. a draw or a hook. There it is. Like so look at that for a ball flight, you know. That's yeah. not gone right. It's not started right. Before, you know, you, you, you struck some really nice golf shots, but they're starting right, they're staying right. That assures me that that lie angle now oh, is spot yeah. on. You've just stood up and hit two golf shots. Firstly, look at your dispersion. Yeah. Those two are on top of each other. Yeah. Secondly, the ball flight. Thirdly, the strike. That's really impressive. That's really good. <laughs> That's really good. So I'm really happy with where these are. Okay. So you, yeah, you've got quite a lot of pressure from your fingers um, in there. If you do that for me now with that one, so grip that. Okay. And now remove. Yeah. So this is too small. I would put you in this one. Brilliant. Yeah. Because yeah. this does feel better. Feels more comfortable. Feels more comfortable. Yeah. I think that's kind of spot it's on. It's kind of the spot on. Yeah. Because what we could do, like, if this is, if you're happy with the thickness and that, but, you know, perhaps going up to a mid size is too big, the way that we can kind of play around with that is, well, we can make that a tiny bit thicker without going to a thicker grit. Okay. Just by adding a couple of a layers couple of, of tape, tape underneath. Yeah. So, um, on my worst days, this can't even get me off the tee. <laughs> on my worst days. So the first thing I'm going to do, you know, just from what I can see, is we need to get the golf ball in the air quicker. We can, we can get you launching the golf ball higher, uh, the ball will stay in the air for longer and it'll go further. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the loft of your golf club. So you're a ten and a half degree loft and you've lofted it up to 
11 and a half. Yeah. I'm going to give you a 12 degree head start. Okay. This. Okay. Good strike. My initial thoughts are this is too long. Okay. So I'm going to go a tiny bit shorter. Oh, okay. So, and this, this is a great point as well when, uh, you know, at the start where I'm telling you, we don't make golf clubs for men or ladies, we make golf clubs. So this is a perfect example, right? So I'm putting you in a shaft now, which is cast as an A flex. So you're not in a, you're not in what would be known as a ladies flex or anything yeah. like that. So this is where we really just tailor golf clubs into your speed, your strike. Yeah. Have a go with this one. This is going to feel a little bit shorter. Feel a bit more comfortable? Yes because I can actually do the... <laughs> you don't feel like you stood too far away? No, and, and I can do okay. the... So that strike was, like, brilliant. Golf shot. That was good. That's one. awesome. That was decent. That was awesome. So I see you... I mean, your, your club speed's actually... Got a, I saw you top out at 79. Okay. Which is... Oh, like some speed, yeah. Brilliant. Um, exactly. I see this being a bit further up okay. for you personally. Um, at the moment, you're just hitting it a little bit out to the right. I'll make one more change okay. and then we'll go from there. If anything, I would say you're launching it a fraction too high. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to drop you back down again, but I'm going to have it playing at 12, at, um, 12 degrees in a 10 and a half head. So what, what I'm doing there is, when you loft the driver up, it closes the face. Yeah. So the reason I'm closing the face is because I don't want you to hit it right. Yeah. If that's your bad shot, I want to try and take that away from you a little bit. Yeah, this does feel better. Massive difference. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I just so it's it's quite a common thing that I see, and it's probably amongst ninety percent of amateur golfers are better with more loft than less loft. Yeah. So if I give you a wood like this that's twenty one degrees, you're probably going to hit that further than the wood that's got fifteen degrees because there's okay. more there's more loft. The ball's up in the air quicker. It's in the air for longer, so therefore it's going a bit, a bit further. further. Nice, a little draw. Maybe it's all in my head that I need this, but on par fives, I think I struggle a bit because um, okay. if I don't get off the tee well, I'll just take irons all round for safety. Right. Because I might be panicking. Okay. But I could do with... Yes. Awesome. Great golf swing. How good was that? That was nice. Oh, my God. That's real pretty. That is. Yeah, take a photo of that one. <laughs> Best shot of the day. I really enjoyed that fitting session with Brandon today and it wasn't just the fact that I love data. So anything like track man or the lie angle or looking at are you hitting up, are you hitting down? I, I love all of that anyway. I've got the watch, all of that kind of stuff. But actually what was really good for me today was to know I'm not flattering myself when I think that my kit is beginning to hold me back. My swing's improved, I'm a bit faster. And actually the kit I've got, whilst it's great, it's not a great fit for me. And so a few things that I take away from this custom fitting is that one, you're probably not ever too soon in your beginner journey to get custom fitted because actually in terms of replacing a kit already in my 15 month journey, getting things cut down and all of those different things, I've probably spent a decent amount of money that if I got fitted, I would have been more comfortable because actually once he adjusted the lie angle and the weight of the shaft and the length of it, immediately my swing just felt so much easier. I didn't feel like I was having to put all the effort that I feel like I'm putting into my swing sometimes to really get into it. So I would definitely get fitted sooner. Second of all, as a new golfer, it's so easy to feel like a bit of an imposter and, you know, even the thought of saying to someone, you know, I'm going to get fitted for clubs is kind of, well, who do you think you are? Because of course you would think it's the clubs and not, and not you. But just getting fitted today and, and beginning to understand a bit more about how my body works well with a club actually makes me feel like a bit more of a golfer. And that imposter stuff kind of begins to go away because actually I can play golf, I can hit the ball, and I'm at the stage where I also need to have the right kit to fit with me. And so it was nice to hear from Brandon that actually I'm not making it all up in my head, but actually my kit was beginning to hold me back. And today I felt like a golfer.